what you have your calculator for. So if I have a ratio, it is set up like a fraction, which means I can divide it. Now let's do a little example up here in this space right here. A very common fraction or ratio is one out of four. Using your calculator, divide one by four. This is what shows up. Now think about what you know about money. A fourth of a dollar is 25 cents, right? So we should know that one fourth equals 0.25 because that's the same as 25 cents. To turn it into a percent, we want to multiply that decimal by 100. So do times 100. Your calculator won't put the percent symbol, but because we multiplied by 100, I want you to put the percent symbol. We're going to use that same strategy where we can do a decimal times 100 for the percent, and a decimal can be gotten by dividing the fraction. So let's start with the ratio of 1 over 3. In your calculator, do 1 divided by 3. Are we getting the decimal or the percent? The decimal. What is our decimal for 1 third? Okay, 0 0.33, and it goes on and on. You can put this line across showing it's just going on and on and on. To turn that into a percent, what are we going to multiply it by? 2 times 100. 33.3% or we could just say 33%. A lot of times when we are doing this, we end up with decimals where we have to round it up or just kind of cut it off because 0.3 is less than 5. So we could say it's 33.3% to be really accurate or it's 33%. Let's take a look down here at this one. 66 and two-thirds percent. That is a really weird thing to have written down there. Yeah. Let's take the fraction and divide it. What's two divided by three? Yeah. Do you see the seven at the end? Yeah. Yeah. The sixes really keep going, but our calculator is out of spaces, so it rounded it here. So this is really saying 66.6%. Which I would round up to 67%. Don't you think? These two are exactly equal. This is our rounded up version. Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. Okay. If this is the case and we can get our decimal to turn into a percent by multiplying this by 100, don't you think I could take this and divide it by 100 to get the decimal? Yeah. We could do the opposite. So let's enter on our calculator. 66.6% divided by 100 is going to give us 0.66 going on and on and on. And put a line over it because, again, it goes on forever. What do you guys notice about this here and this here? This is one third. This must be two thirds. If we didn't know that just by looking at this is double this, so this must be more, twice that, we could put 66 over 100. Because every time we have a decimal or a percent, we can turn it into a percent over 100. What do you guys think of this one? Can I multiply this times 100? Okay, what do you get if you multiply this times 100? So that's our percent. It's over 100%. That's like an A plus in grades, right? How would you write this? as a fraction or a ratio. 
you could make it over, make it an improper fraction, or I could say it's 1 and 25 over 100. So you could reduce it one and one fourth. Or, as Abdiazi said, it could also be equal to five fourths. Because it's over one. Okay? 